Hello there. You know, I've been thinking, variety is the spice of life, and so far all we've featured on this show are superheroes. Well, nothing wrong with that. I like superheroes, you probably do too. But it is time to vary the formula a little, and I shall do that with today's word, or should I say words, funny animals. Now, if ever there were a period of comics history when funny animals thrived, it was the Golden Age. They had a boatload of them! They also had a boatload, or even an entire armada, of superheroes, so it was only natural that before long the two would cross-pollinate and the funny animal superhero would be born. And there are a lot of them, too. There was Hoppy the Marvel Bunny, Wiggles the Wonder Worm, the terrific What's-It, Atomic Rabbit, Cosmo Cat, etc, etc. One that stood out a bit from the rest, though, was today's star character, Super Mouse. It's tempting, of course, to class him as a rip-off of Mighty Mouse, but in fact the two debuted almost simultaneously and were pretty different from each other. Super Mouse, known to his pals as Soupy, usually spelled with an O-U as in spit P, fought crime in a world of funny animals and got his powers through the consumption of super cheese. Though he could fly, most of the time, for some reason his usual means of transportation was an anthropomorphic talking airplane named Cheesy. An anthropomorphic talking airplane named Cheesy. And people ask why I love the Golden Age. As our story begins, Super Mouse is being menaced by what appears to be a cross between a grizzly bear and a giant sloth. Or, alternately, just a regular grizzly bear that's been using its body as a moss farm. Look out! I'm a killer gorilla! Well, okay, but I still think you ought to check your family tree for signs of slow-moving South American mammals. Anyway, despite him being kind enough to give advance warning, our hero is not at all impressed by the Barrow Slotherilla and proceeds to demonstrate why. <laughs> so what? I'm Super Mouse. Ooh, not even a punch! Just a little girly slap! That is not going to help his reputation amongst the other Barrow Slotherillas. Run! Run! A herd of wild elephants is heading this way! Maddie, but what a lot of African wildlife they do have in this town. <sighs> Just one herd? That's child's play for Super Mouse. Always assuming that said child can toss around sizable land mammals like ping pong balls, and if they can't, well, they're just not eating the right breakfast cereals. So following his spot of morning exercise, Soupy shrugs off the cheers and applause of a grateful populace with a modest, it was easy. However, this seems to put him in a melancholy mood, as in the very next panel he appears to have gone on a little walk into the forest just to be by himself and ponder the imponderables. You know, the meaning of life, the grand scheme of things, and why must he be so gosh darn invincible? <sighs> That's just the trouble. Everything is easy. Too easy. It's no fun fighting anymore, because the same fellow always wins. <sighs> Namely, me. Yeah, it's a hard life, all right. Practically unbearable. Too bad I didn't live back in the days when Nightwood was in flower. Nightwood? What, is that what they used to make knights out of? The Pinocchio Lancers! Knights in varnished armor! Arrayed in knightly splinters! The clunk of pine on pine. You know, this is all starting to sound a lot less romantic. And there were fierce dragons to fight! Gosh, bet that was exciting. Yeah, sure, Betty. Whoa, holy cutwaffles, what is that thing? Hey, what are dragons, anyway? Huh? Who are you? I'm Herkimer, but what, what about them dragons, huh? Well, Herky. Herky? That's a little familiar, isn't it? I mean, you've barely been introduced. Well, Herky, they were very big and fierce. Uh-oh, I smell a plot twist. And they were covered all over with brightly colored scales. It's coming any moment now. And they could even breathe smoke and flames. It's almost here! Duck! Duck! Oh dear, imagine that! Then I must be a dragon too! You know, I could have sworn we'd seen the last of that guy. This raises a question or two. How exactly did Herky grow to adulthood without realizing up until this very moment that he was a dragon? I mean, I suppose there's a vague chance that he's actually a baby dragon, but he certainly looks like he's supposed to be an adult, and if he is a baby, then the grown-ups must really be something. 
In any case, he knows he's a dragon now, and he's so happy about it, he wants to go tell everybody. Look at me, everybody! I met dragon! I met dragon! Yeah, you sure are! I'd make some sort of a joke about him dwagging his heels or something like that, but I think they'd evict me from the USA. Oh, this is awful! He really is a dragon, and he can cause plenty of trouble if I don't stop him! Right, good job there, Super Mouse, you schmuck. It's all your fault, you realize that. Why didn't you tell him he was a unicorn? <laughs> well, no time like the present to make up for your mistakes, so he dashes back into town and whistles up Cheesy who lives in a garbage can for some reason. I mean, I know you probably don't need a lot of facilities when you're a miniature talking airplane, but come on, Soupy, he's your sidekick. You'd think you could at least give him a shed in your backyard or something, instead of letting him live like a bum in an alleyway. Cheesy, have you considered joining a union? Let's go! We have to catch a dragon! <laughs> I must be getting hard of hearing. I thought I heard you say dragon. I did, and there he is! <laughs> Yeah, it turns out Herky has been having himself a grand old time embracing his new self-identity. I'm a big, fierce dragon covered on over with blinky colored stays and breaking smoke into flames! Gruff! Gruff! Ah, oh, is there anything sweeter than the gruff of a dragon at play? Well, the crowd evidently thinks that yes, there is, as they're stampeding all over the place. So now, it seems, is the time for all good superheroes to come to the aid of their country. Zoom close and I'll bop him one. You're not scared, are you? Scared? Me? Of course I am. Ah, honesty. I admire that in a fixed wing of a craft. So bop he does. But if you think it's going to be that easy, you clearly haven't read enough of these kinds of stories. No, Herky is barely even perturbed. And Super Mouse realizes that he's got a tussle ahead of him. Head for home. I'll have to pick up some ammunition. Well, that sounds serious. So what kind of ammo are we talking here, Soupy? Bombs? Grenades? Torpedoes? Nope. And now, back to the front line! Yes, folks, this battle is literally going to feature everything and the kitchen sink. Awesome. So back they go to where Herkimer the dragon is still happily a frolic. Pots and pans, away! That's funny, it's raining percolators. Percolators from heaven. Well, it turns out that big surprise, compared to the mighty fists of Super Mouse, a few miscellaneous items of hurled houseware are small potatoes, so they do even less damage than the former did. But do Herky and Soupy care? Nah, they're having way too much fun. You can't hurt me! Nobody can hurt a dragon! What a swell fight! Oh, for the good, clean sport of yesteryear, when mice in very small airplanes threw household oddments at polka dotted dragons! <gasps> <sighs> Those were the days. Mm -hmm. Still, everything's got to end sometime. This dictionary is the last of my ammunition, so here goes! Plonk! Gee whiz! Here's a picture of a dragon just like me! Let's see what it says! <gasps> my gracious! How terrible! Oh dear, what has disturbed poor Herky? It must be pretty bad, too, because the guy doesn't just quit the fight, he bursts into tears and runs away. Super Mouse, compassionate rodent that he is, asks what's wrong. <coughs> I just read something awful in that book of yours about us dragons. It says <coughs> that dragons are mythical creatures who don't really exist. I'm not <coughs> really real. I make believe. Can you imagine? <coughs> I'll be alone for the rest of my life. Nobody's a play with. Dang. I mean, no jokes here. This is legitimately tragic. It answers all the questions from earlier about why he didn't know he was a dragon. He didn't know because all the others just faded out, presumably. They're all in storybooks now. No wonder the guy was so happy earlier. He didn't even know what he was until now because there were no precedents for him to draw on. Even a world of funny animals is only unrealistic enough to support one dragon. He's the last. He's it. Dang. Still, don't feel too sorry for poor Herky, because Soupy does too, and it turns out he knows exactly what to do to cheer him up. Where are we going, Super Mouse? To a place where you'll never be lonely, Herky. We're going to the make-believe forest. Welcome, Herkimer. We're all 
make-believe animals. Well, I wouldn't exactly call you an animal, per se. More of a fantastic creature, like, you know, an elf or something. But, heck with it. The point is, we're all make-believe here. Then this is the place for a dragon. Thank you, Super Mouse. You're welcome, Herkimer. And remember, you can always count on Super Mouse. So Herky the Dragon gets a happy ending, Super Mouse got a good fight, Fantasia really was a good film, wasn't it? And all was well. If any of you had gotten the impression that this is a show about bad comics, this hopefully should dispel it. I mean, it's not like it's a show about masterpieces or anything, those speak for themselves, they don't need me. But I do like to talk about good comics now and then, and this was one of them. The artwork is great. The artist, Milt Stein, is one of those should-be-better-known names. The story is funny and touching, and overall, it's just a lot of fun. I can rip apart a bad story any day of the week, but this is not one of those, and I hope there'll be plenty more like it in shows to come. So, to wrap things up, Barrow Slotherillas are a less formidable race than they would like people to believe. Thinking to yourself out loud in the middle of the forest is bound to lead to chaos and destruction. Miniature talking airplanes have a long way to go in the fight for civil rights. Random odds and ends are of little use against ferocious mythological beasts, and... When in doubt, don't fret, don't pout. Super Mouse will help you out. G'day.